I, because I can show you tons of things from Al Bukhari is really disgusting. But you know what? I'm going to not to do that and tell me why you are a Muslim. Why, why I'm a Muslim? Yeah. Give me, give me, uh, let us say you met me somewhere and we are drinking coffee together and you want to convert me to Islam. So what do you want to tell me? Well, um, I'm not usually the type of guy that tries to convert people, but uh, I would maybe to just do that just by explaining my own uh, knowledge about what I personally think, or personally believe in. And that is the most logical, uh, it makes the most sense to me, and that is to believe in one and true and only God. I mean, you say, you, 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 I mean, I guess you say that you believe in monotheism as well, right? I believe in what? Monotheism. 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 Belief in one God. Belief yes, yes. in one God. Yes, but this is not, yeah. this is not about agreement because I don't believe in monotheism because I like it more, but because this is how God he is. So if my God, he said to me, I'm 10, then I just said, to, he, he said he's 10. If God, he says he's 20. So we don't make a choice. to. Do you Muslim design your God as you wish? What? Do you design your God as you wish? Like, do you accept no. God if he is, he's, if Allah, he said, I am two, you will reject him? Huh? Oh, no, no, you accept what he's saying. No, you you will reject him. Let me show you the hadith. Here we go. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but but the thing the thing is, bro. Um, you gotta understand one thing, bro. Um, the thing is, let's say, let, let, let's. I mean, I don't don't try to be blasphemous here, but let's 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 try to think through God's eyes, right? Uh huh. Um. Um. So, what would he appreciate more? I mean, let's say you are in this dilemma, right? And uh, you don't know what to choose from, Christianity or Islam. Then you face one thing, that is uh, to take a human being as your God. And then you have, and then with a chance that God will be displeased with you because you choose to prefer a human being as your God. Mm. Uh, and then on the other hand, you, you basically uh, give a title of God, Godhood of, of, uh, to, to the creation to to cater itself right not the human beings uh and you respect all the prophets so you also respect jesus you also see him as a prophet you accept this prophet uh so i think uh even the christian god would say that islam is is better than buddhism you know or whatever you know, because they, because the Muslims respect Jesus, uh, the attributes of God. We respect the, the, the fact that Jesus was a important prophet. All right. So how mad would God be? All right. If 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 even was a Christian God. All right. You said that the Christian they believe a human being, correct? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Some. Well, yeah. They do. Have you ever heard of a human being? He is always alive. Have you ever heard of a human being? He can create from the mother bird. Have you ever heard of a human being? He can command sand and command Noah to come from the dust and he made him a man again. Have you ever heard of a human being? And by the way, I'm quoting your books, not, not of my none of my books. Have you ever heard yeah. of a human being? He can tell you what you hide in your houses and what you ate, which means he knew the unseen. So you Muslim, you claim that Jesus is a human being, but the act of Jesus was obviously the act of God. Now, if I asked you the same question, your God is not a human being. Can your God do what Jesus can do? As an example, do your God... Okay, let's, let us put that into examination. Did your God give a miracle to Muhammad to make Muhammad can create from a mother bird? Sorry? Did your was, God uh, Allah? Did your God Allah give Muhammad yeah. the power to create from the mud the bird? No. Did he make him see that make the blind see? No. Did he resurrect anyone from death? No. Did he heal the leper? No. But did, can he did, tell you? Can Jesus, he? Can you tell you? Can he Jesus tell you? Well, let me finish. Can he tell you what you are hiding in your homes? Okay, 
when your prophet was accused that he stole an underwear by his companion, your God Allah failed to tell them who is the one who took the underwear. So how Allah is God and Jesus is not. If he is the one, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. And Allah could not tell us who took the underwear, which behind the accusation to Muhammad that he stole a piece of a clothing. Go ahead. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I first want to clarify one more thing. Hmm. Um, can did Jesus split the sea? Can Jesus what? Can Jesus what? Did, did Jesus split the sea? Animals. In the Bible, we have the story of Jesus commanding the sea. It's the same. He command the storm. It's the same. Jesus walk in the water. It's the same. So Jesus, he command nature. He command the human being. He command our evil spirit, and he heal, and he do resurrect, and he forgive sin. What is left for God to do? Your God cannot do any of those. And look, here we go. Your prophet was accused by his companion that he stole a piece of a clothing. And Allah, if he is God, the easiest thing he can do, he should say, it's not Muhammad who did it. Go to the house of this guy and find the, the piece of a clothing. This way he can provide evidence that Muhammad is not the one who did it. No, no, no. It's, it's, uh, I, I would usually, I would use another perspective on this. I would say that this is a test for a person that has the idea of something a bit wrong. To, for, for him to to elaborate on it and to to correct his his, uh, his thinking on his own, so he can correct his ways and and acknowledge the prophet. No problem. Your God and can do. say. Your God can say. Okay, the one who took it, his name is etc. But forgive him. I forgive him. It's okay. No, well, no problem. Allah can forgive. So you see, he doesn't excuse. Muhammad, he have zero miracles. The Quran keeps saying Muhammad, he have no miracles. Now, Je regard Jesus being a human. Isn't it your God have a hand and he have a foot and he have a shin and he is going to do subtease in the day of judgment? Now, uh, I was told that as metaphorical. Who is the one who said that to you? Well, that's what I grew up with believing, so... Who said that this is, did Allah say this metaphorical? Uh, I'm not sure. No, you know, you, you, you've you been told, but you did not search and check if you're God, Allah. There's tons of videos in YouTube made by sheikhs speaking about Allah have hands, Allah have a shin, Allah, here we go. You like Al-Bukhari, this is Al-Bukhari. Allah is going to show off his shin. Yeah, but even if he has a chin, uh, who tells you that the chin he is having is the exact same as we have? It doesn't matter. I mean, the chin of Jesus. Okay, hold on. My chin, my friend, my chin is the most hairy chin in the world. But that does not make me God because nobody have a chin like me. So if his chin not like my chin, let us say it took totally different. Still your God, Allah, is a physical being. He have a hand. He have five fingers. Actually, he have two hands. He have five fingers, he have a shin, he have a foot, he have two eyes, he have a nose, he have a mouth, he have ears. So what is left? And yet you Muslim, you say nothing like Allah, but Allah himself, he described himself. And then you say to me, nothing like Allah, but he described himself that he is a person who have ears, have, have shin, have foot, have hands, have five fingers. Hey. Okay, well, I can give an example. Does a nose of a donkey look like the one of a human? Do you friend, see any resemblance? When, when you say, I have a hand, you are giving me the job of the part you are talking about. It doesn't mean necessarily it is the same exactly. When you say, I have five fingers, you are talking about fingers. So now we as a human, we know what fingers are. Doesn't mean, yeah. well, as an example, monkeys have fingers, correct? Yeah. Okay. So when you when your God he says Allah have five fingers, well obviously they are five fingers. How they look like it doesn't matter. We know what finger they do. Why we call them fingers? Because they have a certain shape, certain location, and the, then we call them fingers, even if it's not a finger of a human being. So you obviously you Muslim you say you don't accept God to have a body of a human being, but your God is what a spider? He have five fingers. 
he is an elephant who have five fingers he is a beast he has five fingers so whoever your allah is is a physical being correct well i just try to not go beyond the things that we know the simple fact I'm not is asking we don't you, know how these i'm not asking you to go be, i'm not yeah. asking you to go beyond what you know i'm discussing with you what you know Oh, it's Allah. Are you talking about more what you know yourself? No, because you don't know how good how Allah lives. No, 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 no. You see, you're okay. You said you accept Al Bukhari, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I understand this is mentioned in Sahih uh Bukhari. Uh huh. Doesn't contradict the. Doesn't contradict me if I'm saying that we we have yet to know what kind of fingers he would have. How Are Allah? Sure? Maybe if, how if, Allah? If, if how has, Allah? I, how Allah look like? Read it. He reported God's messenger as saying, "When any of you fly, uh, fight, you must avoid the face, for God created Adam in His own image." Mm -hmm. So, what is the image of Allah? Uh, okay. And isn't it, yeah. this is exactly what the Old Testament says, guys? Can somebody quote for me the verse? God created Adam in His own image, exactly word by word. Exactly, word by word in the Old Testament. That is the image of Jesus. So God, wait, he created, wait, wait, wait. God, he created wait, wait. Adam. Wait, wait a second. Uh -huh. uh, I'm, I'm kind of confused on this part here. Uh -huh. It says Bukhari and Muslim. Uh -huh. Doesn't tell you what part of Bukhari and Muslim. This no problem, we can show you, no problem. But the reference here, they are showing you that this hadith is exist in the book of Al-Bukhari and book of Muslim. Yeah. Yeah, so the, you, you you accept both, don't you? Yeah, I accept, I accept, I accept both. Okay. But I only accept, I only accept the unchanged Bukhari and Muslim, obviously. Ah, right? so it, you see, you this see. This can also be a Christian so, choice. So, 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 so my friend, you Muslims are the one, you claim that when we debate Muslim, we pick up cherries. It's you who pick up cherries. What you like, you like. What's embarrassing, you refuse it. What no, it... no, 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 okay. no, 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 so, no, 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 uh, not gonna assume that this is authentic. No You're problem. Here exact... we go, guys. Here we go. This yeah. is the reference. Al Bukhari six two two seven. Does that make you happy now? This is what I want to see. Yeah. Okay. Bingo. We are done. So now your God okay. is what? So can you please let me read? Or oh, wait a second. I will just talk about. It. Because you know I'm not known as a um uh, unreasonable person right i'm not trying to be dishonest or anything so now so please don't we can, an image of myself as we, well. we can confirm that allah have a he's, he's a physical person he have a physical space existence he have a physical hand he have a physical shin and he have a specific image in fact your God, Allah, is a Grim. Did you watch the movie called The Grim? Yeah. The, okay. the green guy? Huh? Do you mean the green guy? And, uh, like the one, like those people, they change like they are, like you look like a human, but they are, in fact, they are not. So they can change suddenly and become something else. I, I saw it just for five seconds. I don't watch those things. Mm. Oh, huh? I, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, all, about. all right so uh, according to your uh, uh, god muhammad allah he will come and he will change his image and when the muslim they see him first time in the image other than his image which they knew or they saw uh, they will say to him we seek refuge by allah from you so you muslims you remember i told me you don't you will not deny allah if he changed his uh, you ask me if Allah, if if you accept God to be monotheist, I said if God, he is yeah. three or four. Do you tell him how to be? You said no. 
you accept him still okay wonderful so now if Allah he changed his image do you reject him no you see you I mean, will. He's, he's you, God, right? you will you're a prophet he said that you will let me show you and this is al-bukhari uh, so you cannot tell me this is not authentic Allah will come to you in the inner image other than the image the Muslims they saw or they knew first time do you see the the, uh, the screen yeah this is Sahih Muslim I can show it to you from Sahih Bukhari you want Sahih Bukhari or Muslim let, let me find the Sahih Bukhari for you because that make me more more happy maybe and I'm just trying to make you know for me for me customers come first oh, yeah this is Al Bukhari wonderful do you see the reference 6572 correct yeah all right so Allah he will come to them in an image or a shape other than the one they saw first time and the Muslim they will say to him we seek refuge uh, you see my screen yeah all right Allah here we go let us go back a little bit They ask Allah Messenger, are we going to see Allah in the day of resurrection? He said, yes. Do you bother I'd like to see him when it is the sky is clear, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, then Allah will come to them in a shape other than they knew and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refuge by Allah from you. Till our Lord come to us. And we we will recognize him, and then Allah will come to them in a shape which they knew, and they say, He say, I am your Lord, and then they say, No doubt, you are our Lord. You remember you told me if Allah changes his shape, you will not deny him. You will. Well, I never saw myself that position, obviously. So uh... no, but you see here. So you Muslims, you follow a shape, you don't follow God. If you follow God, it doesn't matter who is God, how he come to you, then God is God. And then in the same time, you Muslim can say, keep saying that Allah don't change, God don't change. Okay, no problem. But here you see that Allah, now we have two Allah. And we have two physical Allah. Do you see the word shape? Yeah. Is the word shape physical? Uh, yeah. So now what will happen to the first Allah? Well, he's cha changing his shape, right? We don't know what happened. Maybe he made another shape and he get inside it. So are you saying now that Allah, the physical being, his physique is a changeable? Is that what you are saying? Oh, he can do, he can do a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, it's God. Uh, can, he, day, right? he can, can, can he be can a can he be a human? Well, I, for me personally, I wouldn't say that it befits his his uh, godliness. You know, does it fit for him to take a shape of Shaitan? Because now they say to him that you are obviously Shaitan. We seek refuge by Allah from you. The shape, the first shape yeah. he took, my friend, he changed his shape. And then what they said to him, when they saw him with that shape, they said, we seek refuge by Allah from you. So they are seeing shaitan. Because this is a statement a Muslim he say, and you can say I'm lying if you want, only when you seek refuge by God against shaitan. Is that correct? Yeah. So Allah now yeah. is shaitan. He is coming to them in the image of shaitan. No, no. Let me. Um, he is. This is. If, I, if you read history, 
not even through. I mean, if you read it, you will just see that he's testing the people. This is like Judgment Day, right? What kind of test is test? So, if I know the answer right now, you gave me the exam questions, and you gave me the exam answer, and you told me what I will say, and you tell me what you will do, and nothing will happen. There's no punishment. There's no penalty. This is a joke. So imagine I say to you, hey, listen, you will go inside this room, and then Allah will come to you, and he will change his shape. And then you will say to him, oh, I seek refuge by Allah from you. And then Allah, he go to the other room. He come back, he change his shape. And then you say to him, oh, Allah, I now I know this, uh, Allah, I recognize you. Where is the test here? And what is the story about? Well, um, the bridge over hellfire will be late after that takes place, right? My friend, who care? We are talking about, you see, you remember, you said that the Christian oh, worship oh, and... Yeah. Worship a human. Your God is not even a human. Your God is is a is a is a, is a jellyfish. You know, he changed. He had many. Oh, but the thing is, no, so the thing is, you, Allah, you, you have, made a claim. Do we agree that Allah have a physical shape now? No, you you made the claim saying that this is not part of a test. Well, I'm saying it's not what. Uh, there's it's not a, what. I did not hear. Sorry. Rich. You made a claim saying that this is not about a test. Uh, it's about the joke. Well, I'm telling you, um, there's this part where it says that the bridge over the hellfire will be laid. So this, this, so if you indeed would follow okay. Satan, and okay. you, you would see the my, true God. My friend, how, how, how they are following Shaitan. So are you saying to me, Allah, he changed his shape and he came to them as a Shaitan. And now because they don't, and he said to them, I am your God. But the Muslim, they could not recognize that Allah is Allah just because Allah, he changed his shape. That means Allah, there's nothing unique about him. The Muslim, they keep lying to okay. us. They say, when you feel the presence of Allah, you see the holiness. Allah will touch you. Here we go. This is the same Allah. Nothing changed. He just changed the plastic. His plastic is not this is the same plastic. So now you did not feel the presence of Allah. You even insult Allah. You say to him, you're shaitan. If Jesus come to me right yeah. now, Jesus said, yeah. when you, uh, uh, I was hungry and you fed me. I was a prisoner and you visited me. I was sick and you came to me. I was a stranger, you took me in. They said to him, Lord, when we did that to you? He said, when you do it to my brothers, you did it to me. So now if a person, he is hungry, he came to me, it might be Jesus. So I will not accept because I don't like the look. So Jesus says, when you do it to others, you do it to me. So now your God himself, he changes look. And now you Muslim, you do exactly what you did to Jesus. You don't like the shape of Jesus. Correct people? Those Muslims don't accept the, the shape of Jesus. Even though he come to them in the shape of a human being, not the shape of a shaitan. Even though he's coming to them in the image of God, because God says God created Adam in his image. Even though he made the, 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 the blind see, the leper heal, the women who have be, period is, 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 heal her, he forgives sin, he walk in water, he control nature, he resists people from death, and he command the, 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 the demon and the devils. Yet they refuse Jesus, but they accept a God who is playing hide and seek game, which is silly and funny. This is not how you test people. You test them when they, if they have dignity, you test them if they are truthful. You test them if they are not liars. Not about changing my shape and come to you. Is that Santa Claus Day? Is that the Halloween? Yeah. You hear me? I hear you. You hear me? I do. And, and first of all, what we prove here that your God is not trustworthy and he play games. And he clone everybody. So now how we can trust who is God and who is not. If Allah now coming to me as shaitan. And saying to me I am Allah. What if this is really Allah? But look what happened. When Allah he said I am Allah. And I refuse to believe that he is Allah. What was the proof I have that he is not Allah? Can you tell me? Yeah. What? How? Yeah, I, can, I, I don't know. I cannot, I cannot answer that. Yeah. Well, obviously, you Muslims, you don't, okay, did you see Allah anyway? 
Did I see uh, Allah? Any Muslim saw way? Allah, including Muhammad? Did he see Allah? Uh, I th I saw Moses that scene. No, no, nobody see. Nobody saw God. Nobody saw. But uh, I'm talking about your religion now. In your religion, nobody saw Allah, including Muhammad. Okay. So now, if Allah changed his shape, what the point? If nobody knows even how Allah looked like anyway. So the story is so silly and so funny because you see it says here he come to them in, an, in a shape which they know what is the shape you Muslim you know um, I think the shape of that's been described in the, in the hadith what is that shape? shape tell me know. okay tell me now describe for me so if I see Allah I can recognize him tell me the shape please well, you said it yourself earlier. We, no, no, you tell we, me. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. No, 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 you are a Muslim, not me. Tell me the shape of Allah. So if I see Allah yeah. in the street, I will be able to recognize him. Go ahead. Uh, well, to be fair with you, I don't know if this is the exact proper. His what? Um, His what? Interpretation. But well, the hadith, it says that he be is in the image of Adam. He will be in the image of Adam. Uh, that's what the hadith is saying. Okay, so guys, oh, right. so now hey, okay, sure. here, we, here we go. Allah, he looked like Jesus now. A second ago, you Christian worship Jesus as a human. A second after, after one hour talking to our friend here, Allah will come like Adam. So why you reject Jesus for being God? You accept Allah for being Jesus as Adam. Well, it's, it's quite simple, actually. Uh huh. Why? Uh, even if he is in the image of human beings, still doesn't doesn't prove that God has felt the need to come on earth with us to do the exact same things uh, uh, to do what all the other prophets were doing. The prophets okay. prior to Jesus did the same thing as what Jesus was doing in the general sense. They gave the core message of the belief in the true and only God. God, if you say yeah, but but. Uh, Jesus is God, and, and he and he is like you know that you basically disregard all the other prophets that came before him. Let me ask you: You okay, spoke. You, today, you, yeah. you spoke about needs. Do Allah need to move from point A to point B to make things happen? No. Did you say no? He doesn't need to do anything. Actually. When you pray to Allah. Do Allah, can Allah hear you from his location or he need to get closer? He can hear me regardless. Regardless, what do you mean? Even if he's like in the seventh heaven? Even if he is in the other, I don't know, like, just to give an example, even if he's in the other, in the other universe, doesn't matter, like he hears you regardless. That's wonderful. So read this hadith for me from Sahih Bukhari. Okay. He has no limitations on his. No, area. he have your God have a very very clear limitation. His reception is not good. Read it. This is Al Bukhari. Okay. Uh, Our Lord, the Blessed, the Superior, comes every night down on the nearest heaven to uh, to us when the last third of the night remains, saying, "Is there anyone to invoke me?" So that I may respond to invocation. Is there anyone to ask me so that I may grant him his requests? Mm -hmm. Is there anyone seeking my forgiveness so that I may forgive him? So, so where does it explain that he has limitations on his hearing? But Allah is God because he has no limitation. But Allah as God in Islam. He cannot hear you unless he get a closer. Jesus said, every two, every two of you, every two of you mention my name. I will be there third. I will be between them. Prince, 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 no. Uh, you can clearly tell. I mean, this also one thing I, uh, I remind myself vaguely of. Um, reason of him descending from the, from the highest heaven to the lowest one has also to do with his closeness to the human being, that is, requesting him. So it also shows you that he is getting closer to you. 
No, this is first of all. First of all, he is talking about location. Allah, he come day every day. From the seventh heaven to the lowest heaven. It is literally. And all Muslim scars, even the potatoes of, uh, of YouTube like Muhammad Hijab. And Lili Dawa agree that Allah, he come down every day. How? Allahu Alam. So Allah, if he is God and he is not limited, why he have to come down? So he can hear you. He doesn't give you the reasons neither. He's what? He doesn't give you the, the reasons neither, right? The, neither? It doesn't give you the reasons too. It doesn't give you the reasons. No, give me the reason. The reason yeah. is to hear you. Who is uh, praying for me? So I can answer him. The reason is there. So Allah, he come down. He said, so he can hear you. Third. No, he's not saying so he could hear us so he's saying he's asking actually he's asking the people who's there who is there to invoke me who's there to respond who's there who's there so it is it is not like yeah uh, i'm trying to hear you guys no who is invoking me so i can answer him so allah cannot hear the invocation because the whole purpose is to find out who is invoking so if I am in seven heaven and I can find who is invoking, I do not need to go down to the to the lowest heaven. So who is invoking? Yeah, I understand me? what you're saying now. Uh -huh. I understand what you're saying now. Yeah, I understand what you're saying now. Like now, but even in that, even if you would put it that way, it's still, it's still, I still, my previous information is still valid, really, because he still. Is showing that he's getting close on this. Well, talking. you are giving your own false interpretation because none of the Muslims says that. The Muslim they accept that this is really Allah coming down, literally moving from point A to point B, and now you are making your own fiction. 